starting in 5 seconds though this is the first occasion on which i have in person attended a session of unesco i may claim that in spirit i have always been with you and followed your deliberations and activities with the keenest interest and sympathy this i have done as i feel that in view of the disaster which threatens the future of mankind unesco alone offers a faint ray of hope mankind has in the course of the last century made phenomenal advances in knowledge and material prosperity but this progress has not been reflected in men's moral and political achievements increased knowledge has therefore led not only to a greater provision for comfort and victory over want and disease but also alas to an increase in man's power for destruction and death this power is so great today that unless all men have a sense of community it may well lead to common ruin for all it is only through a reeducation of men that we can create that sense of psychological unity and common citizenship which the technological unity achieved by the advance of modern science requires of men this is the reason why in 1949 when the indian national commission for cooperation with unesco was founded i placed such great emphasis on the importance of unesco's work i pointed out with regret that while the united nations were founded for the achievements of peace and unity the result had in fact been the division of the world into two warring camps it is true that some progress has been achieved here in place of a multitude of nations each struggling on its way the united nations present a picture of two solid blocks array one against the other nevertheless to any man who looks forward to cooperation and friendship among nations this picture can bring no message of hope it seems that the only hope lies in unesco which asks the to achieve unity in the field of education science agriculture even among those who are politically divided i feel that if unesco could achieve its objectives and create understandings between different nations on the cultural plan there is hope that with time the cultural understanding would make itself felt in the economic and political fields also in the course of the last 2 years my hope in unesco and apprehensions about the united nations have both increased it is true that unesco is barely half a dozen years old but these few years have been of immense significance for the future of man this period has revealed fissures in our political and intellectual attitudes which unless they are checked on time may well involve the whole of humanity in one man one common run it is therefore necessary that we should attempt to evaluate what unesco has done during these turbulent years and survey its past achievements so that we can map out with greater confidence the course of its future action the aim of unesco is to bring nations together though education science and culture even since its foundation unesco has yearly passed resolutions and adopted programs to achieve that end 
वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट अचीवमेंट ऑफ यूनेस्को हैज बीन टू हेल्प फ्रेम अ न्यू एंड यूनिवर्सल डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ ह्यूमन राइट्स विच हैज सिंस बीन अडॉप्टेड बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशंस सिमिलरली इन द फील्ड ऑफ टेक्निकल असिस्टेंस टू अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज द रिस्टोरेशन ऑफ एजुकेशनल एंड कल्चरल फैसिलिटीज इन द वोर डिवास्टेटेड कंट्रीज एंड इन द एक्सचेंज ऑफ पर्सनस एंड आइडियाज बिटवीन डिफरेंट नेशंस कंसिडरेबल प्रोग्रेस हैज बीन अचीव्ड इवन मोर इम्पोर्टेंट इज द प्रोजेक्ट विच यूनेस्को सीक्स टू अडोप्ट फॉर द प्रोविजन ऑफ फंडामेंटल एजुकेशन टू इमेंस एरियाज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एज येट विदाउट एडिक्वेट फैसिलिटीज इट इज अ सैड रिफ्लेक्शन ऑन आवर सिविलाइजेशन डेट ऑलमोस्ट थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ द अडल्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर स्टिल अनलेटर्ड लिटरेसी एंड इग्नोरेंस डायरेक्टली कॉन्ट्राडिक्ट ऑल आवर प्रोफेशन फॉर द राइट्स ऑफ मैन एंड कॉन्स्टिट्यूट अ थ्रेट टू यूनिवर्सल डेमोक्रेसी पीस एंड प्रोग्रेस आई शुड लाइक टू कॉन्ग्रेचुलेट यूनेस्को अपॉन इट्स रियलाइजेशन डैट इट इज ओनली बाय इम्प्रूविंग द ह्यूमन मटीरियल थ्रू एजुकेशन इन द लेस फॉर्चुनेट एरियाज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड डैट प्रोस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड पीस कैन बी सिक्योर्ड वाइल नो वन कैन फॉर अ मोमेंट क्वेश्चन द प्रोग्राम ऑफ यूनेस्को इन दीज फील्ड्स आई फील श्योर डैट यू मिस्टर प्रेजिडेंट एंड यू मिस्टर डायरेक्टर जनरल विल एग्री विद मी डैट यूनेस्को कैन नॉट सक्सीड इन इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव सो लॉन्ग एज द फियर ऑफ वॉर एंड डिस्ट्रक्शन क्रीपल द क्रिएटिव एनर्जीज ऑफ मैन अनलेस दिस थ्रेट कैन एवर्टेड ऑल आवर एफर्ट्स टू एडवांस एजुकेशन साइंस एंड कल्चर सीम अ मोकरी इफ द वर्ल्ड इज टू बी सेव्ड फ्रॉम डिजास्टर we must an as intelligent man and woman decide what steps unesco can take to avoid the threat of war it will not do to say that the questions of war and peace are primarily political and do not concern unesco which is the body devoted to the advancement of education science and culture that cannot be so always as such stop